Hi everyone. Well, I've signed up for Tough Mudder. It's my first one ever. Now it's 12 weeks away. I've been training and I've looked at uh, other participants' blogs online and, and uh, past events and, and videos. Uh, it seems like a pretty tough race and I can't take that for granted. So apart from training, I've also looked at uh, what sort of gear I need to buy to prepare myself and uh, hopefully survive the 20 kilometers and 25 obstacle event. The main thing that I needed was a pair of shoes that um, were comfortable enough for me to wear and I found these. So based on the feedback, I, I did not want to wear uh, prop, um, normal cross trainers because they're very thick and padded, which is great for support, but they soak up water. And so you're, you're gonna be heavier when you, you jump into water and come out of it. So I found these pair of Columbia uh, drain maker, that's what they're called, for an amazing $40 instead of the retail price of 140. And I bought it at a factory outlet, so that's probably why they were so cheap. So um, the three things that ticked the box for me was, uh, it's very lightweight, um, it's low profile, and it's very thin. That means that if the water comes into my feet and, and, and my socks, when I start running, it would probably be expelled out and not, not stay in my shoes. Um, the other thing was um, I needed some grip. I did not want something too slippery because uh, it's like running on ice really, I think. And I don't know how bad it's gonna be, but I heard uh, it was pretty bad in some, some places. So when I'm knee deep in, in mud, I don't wanna lose my shoes. I don't wanna be able to have some grip to actually propel myself forward. So um, I'm thinking that these will do and I'm gonna start training in them to get used to them. Um, so over the next few weeks, we'll, we'll see how we go and uh, I'll give you some feedback on whether these were the right shoes for me to wear. Now the other thing that I thought I needed was a way to record myself uh, and I bought this uh, GoPro HD3 online for a bargain. I haven't opened it yet because I'm going to do a proper review of this uh, camera uh, or in another video. So please click on that link to, to view the full review. I've seen people wear this on their chest during the Tough Mudder event, and while it looked great, it didn't give the flexibility that I think I'm after, which is if I turn my head around and look at things, um, my chest is not gonna turn around as well, so it's just gonna bob up and down. And so I've decided that I'm gonna wear a head mount and put this over my cap and, uh, and film uh, the whole event. So two issues that I'm not aware of at this stage is whether the up and down motion will affect the quality of the video and also the battery life. Um, I may need to buy a separate bat battery to last um, two or three hours. God knows how long I'm gonna be on, on the course. So over the next few weeks, I'll be training with these and I'll give you some feedback. Feel free to make comments if you have experience with it and if you have any advice to, to give other readers and myself, I'm more than happy to listen to you. So until next video, train tough. <laughs>